Welcome to the Day in Life, Yabra. I'm Mas Ruben from Jump. Today is still March 31st, third video log for today. And I was talking about, you know, my furniture moving days. Um, I have a lot of different jobs in my life. I mean, I've been a part of a lot of different jobs. Whether it be uh, part-time, uh, helping, uh, volunteering, to being getting paid good. I think I got paid good when we were moving the... Uh, uh, I think it's level three or level four uh, asbestos and mold, and I guess it took over this whole this whole house. We had to scrape all that out of there and bag it up and stuff. And we were just picked up off the street, you know, got these hazmat suits, throw on stuff like that, and we never got sick or anything like that. We we really wrapped ourselves up good to make sure that we're not going to be sick of anything. Uh, what we got out of that maybe uh, we got a, like a bike each anyway, like a mountain bike each and. Clean the crap out of that, and you know, just, I just I thought about you keeping it, or just I thought we were just selling it because I don't know if it got completely all the mold off of it, and I don't want to get sick myself, so and I'm just reselling it. But we got paid good. I mean, we got paid. I think uh, at that time that was like 15 years ago or more, and we got paid uh, about five or six hundred bucks. I think at that time. I think so. I think no, we got paid more than that. Um. We were going to get paid 600 but we did such a good job, we get paid a thousand bucks each. And that was money in my pocket that I used for a lot of stuff. And it went pretty quick. When you have a girlfriend at that, at that time, too, you know, that thousand dollars goes pretty quick. So, I, know when I did various things like um, lawn mains. I did lots of different lawn mains. A little bit of help in landscaping, also bricklaying and uh, cleaning pools, or even helping to dig out the pools and, and that was kind of fun planting trees uh, um, replanting trees like moving the trees from one spot and moving to another spot and you know, hopefully they pray they actually survive you know kind of thing um, oh I've been in the farms too working on uh, like different kind of things on farms with the animals and uh, fixing up chicken coop or the um, the, the garage looking barn thing uh, to clean up uh, bird crap or try to clean a little bit out of the, the pond or you know stuff like that it's just a lot of different stuff you know <coughs> um, to uh, picking cherries, picking apples, picking grapes, picking strawberries, stuff like that. Uh, to a little bit like mechanical and also, you know, electronics and fixing up bikes and a little bit of hands on some of the mortar bikes or mopeds. Um, to babysitting, to working in a restaurant to working at the racetrack, um, working at the furniture store, or being in the movie, uh, furniture moving place. That was, that was fun for the, I think I was in there for a year and a half to two years, and then just got out of it. And I don't know, just pay wasn't really good anyway, and st stuff like that. Um, to volunteering at, um, I should know earlier, way earlier in uh, the secondary school days. Co-op with uh, the elderly and disabled. Later on, being uh, volunteering for the disabled games. Um, then in, into also community stuff, getting paid or not getting paid. You know, it didn't really matter to me. It was mostly uh, with the uh, youth, you know, youth lodge or youth club or st stuff like that. The outings and, you know, um, outings and uh, camping and brainstorming and uh, team uh, uh, build spirits and stuff like that and rock climbing and stuff like that. And, uh, I don't know. Even to like uh, helping with decks and drywall and uh, roofing and uh, 
flower gardens and laying brick down on, on the ground too, that was a little bit difficult. But I don't know, I did a lot of different jobs in my life, like a lot of different jobs. I mean, probably just some I can't really even remember right now. But I, you know, I've done, I've had my hands in it. Either, you know, get low pay or uh, okay pay, good pay, volunteer, uh, like a co-op thing, uh, a community help kind of thing. Whatever it is, you know, it's a part, part of a lot of different things. <coughs> So, that's the way that was anyway. Um, a lot of different things in my life. A lot of different things. Even uh, doing video games and create, trying to create my own video game even online, I've done that too. Oh, even this, this here, blogging. Me doing these blogs every day is like a job. It is. I have like a job. Sometimes it's stressful to try to get a, a blog done because people want to help with this and that and go do this and do that and um, need some help over there and over here and it's like, okay, um, yeah, okay, uh, how about after, uh, about this time that it's time to do, it's like, oh, let's do this and like that, you can do that later and like, <coughs> trying to do it in the morning and then you got morning stuff to do someplace else and trying to do it about noon but you're someplace else and you have to do it in the afternoon and sometimes lucky to actually get a blog done in a day but now like these days it's just you know, kind of dragged on kind of boring and you know just kind of boring days um going on here. Just really the same old, same old, you know. But anyway, I'll let you guys know about me, like, I'm vlogging right now. I do even get the gaming channel, and then there's also gaming around with uh, the one uh, neighbor boy and one best friend, and uh, the best friend's uh, son lives upstairs, and lots of gaming. Like I said, I need to get that little device that says, let's grab that little device, and Let's save up some of this game. I'm doing so much game. Let's throw it on the gaming channel. Because I'm doing like... Two, three, I'm going to say three, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to say ten hours. Ten hours of gaming. At the most. And then, you know, you know, the hour of vlogging and this and that and waiting a little bit. So, I'm going to say, you know, that spending, you know, the vlogging and gaming is twelve hours of my, you know, my days every day. Now, mind you, if I were to move back home, it's, there's no any reliable internet right now, nothing that is unlimited, I think. I don't know. I really don't know. It's just, uh, it, it's going to be difficult, you know. I don't want to have to, you know, sit up on my uncle's and then ride my bike there every day and get my vlogs done and put my game videos out there and... It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. It sure is a lot of work. But I mean, that's what it is. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, eventually, maybe one day, um, vlogging will pick up. Most likely, gaming will probably pick up before vlogging. And. gonna say maybe I might get a little bit of money in there I, I don't I don't think I'm not expecting big money like I'm not expecting a million dollars I'm not expecting that I'm not expecting five hundred thousand dollars I'm not expecting hundred thousand dollars I'm not even really expecting expecting me fifty thousand dollars I don't know some dollars here and there hundred dollars here and there or something like that is something you know help a little bit even if the, uh, the most, maybe three, 300 bucks. That's fine. Helps out with certain things. Because I do know if I move out of my place and try to look for another place closer to here, it's not going to be that cheap and you no know, place on the reserve that, you know, a lot of people don't live on the cats and stuff. But I don't know. I'm just going to 
checking on it, on things that, I don't know, brainstorming and trying to figure out something. I, I didn't want to come back home because my life's not really going anywhere. It's just, it's just basically at a standstill. It's going around in a circle, not really doing anything. Actually, not really a circle, but it's just kind of at a standstill, kind of like a snail crawling. I am that snail when when there could be um, I don't know what can I relate to a snail that's not no but not uh, okay it's like uh, I, like I don't want to be as slow as a snail and I don't want to be as fast as a person go from zero to eighty eight. Three fifty big block. I don't know. I can't really. <laughs> I can't really tell you what the mechanical stuff about the car is on that. But um, yeah. I don't know what I'm actually say on that. I was just throwing out there. Okay, like I said, I don't want to be. I don't want to be that snail. I don't want to be that, you know, the fastest driver or something like that. And I don't want to really be in between, you know what I mean? In between that is like, yeah, that's what I like to pick up a little bit. I want to be feeling happier, not depressed, and, you know, all my little small worries here and there, small worries, small worries, small worries, are really adding up to a big worry, and, you know, Little by little, start getting rid of some, some of the small worries. But um, I don't have really much more to actually talk about right now, so I might as well just wrap this up. So if you guys do like this video, please do hit the like button. Please subscribe to me. Make sure this video channel might benefit you, might benefit me. Please do tell your friend and family about me. Thank you for this video, tell me you guys watching. Hope you all have a nice day, tomorrow night. And remember, it's better to be Aboriginal than original.